at last your first combat sortie. First combat is the very is the first and very important test. Only in combat can you find out how good a fighter pilot you are. After takeoff, proceed through the checkpoints to the front line. When crossing the front line, there will be an unpleasant surprise waiting for you. Enemy aircraft guns. Perform evasive maneuvers, otherwise you will have all the chances not to survive for the next lesson. Approaching the enemy balloon, try to climb a bit so that you engage the balloon from above and so that after the attack you'll have enough speed to get out of there as soon as possible. Be careful, the balloon is heavily covered with high caliber anti-aircraft guns and machine guns. Seriously? The less time you spend in the vicinity of the balloon, the better, otherwise chances to get hit are higher. After you destroy the balloon, return to base. Enemy anti-aircraft gunners well known to you will escort you back home with a salute. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get on up there. Let's get in a battle straight away. Don't worry about it. Let's crack on. Crack on and get it done. Well, John, after your successful accomplishment of the previous mission, I think we can finish it with theory and getting familiar with the plane. Now it's time to teach you how to fight. I can't wait for the moment when we'll be allowed to use the fighter plane as it has to be used. Slow down, Lieutenant. It is first the same all, guy, isn't it? Tell you about the dangers that you'll face in combat near the front line. Fight is what I'm here for. Dangers don't scare me. <laughs> I like your bravery. Now let's see what you'll say after the sortie. Your Mommy. next task is to break through anti-aircraft guns and destroy the balloon. And it's not that easy as you may think. No? Okay. The main weapons of your SPAD are machine guns. Fire button is located under the forefinger on your joystick. You have 500 bullets for each machine gun. To cock your guns, press reload button on the keyboard. Remember, if you fire long bursts, the machine guns can overheat and jam, so you won't be able to continue firing until you reload the weapon. Therefore, fire in short bursts of, say, three to five seconds. And now, about your task. After takeoff, that head to checkpoint one. Checkpoint one is located near the front line. You'll know you're above the front line by the burnout ground under you. Then proceeding to the second checkpoint, stay alert. You'll come under anti-aircraft fire, and it's very dangerous. To okay. lower the possibility of being hit, climb to 1,000 meter altitude, don't lose speed, and constantly change the direction of flight. That's what we call flat evasion. Once you've passed the enemy flak positions and the second checkpoint, you'll see the balloon, target yeah, yeah, I don't do market, that. climb to 1,000 meters, approach the balloon to attack distance. That is about 1,000 meters. Dive on the balloon and open fire. Come out of the attack in a combat turn and repeat your attack on the balloon if you didn't destroy it in the first attempt. After the balloon is destroyed, there will appear the next checkpoint marker. This is your landing base. The route to it lies through the area of enemy air defense. Proceed home making flak evasive. I need you here alive and healthy. Okay. Well, John, have you already changed your mind about becoming a fighter pilot? A bit scary, frankly, but don't worry. I'll accomplish this mission. Good luck, Lieutenant. It's so weird that it's the same guy's voice. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, all right. Let's do it. Destroy your enemy observation balloon. These are not all my problems, huh? Oh, I see. Okay. I thought it meant the balloon itself had loads of guns. I did wonder how. Alright, powering up. Heading out. A couple of bullets are just wasted. I'm really going to have to get my, uh... My 
My head tracking centralised button swapped out for something else. Oh, crikey. Nearly touched the wing down there. I think I tried to take off a smidge too early. All right. I've only got 30 minutes to do this. Flipping hell, okay. I'm looking at the clock. That gives me to just before five minutes past. So I got five minutes past 10. Three, four minutes past ten, something like that. I've already forgotten what altitude I'm supposed to be at. Here we go. Checkpoint one reached. Engage the flap. You can see no man's land. A big black mass on the floor. What is that thing there? Is that the balloon? That must be the balloon. Yep. Okay. I've never played the game with all these markers on before. It's a bit weird. It's so much harder normally without them, obviously. Okay, let's do some flak evading. Not that it's on us yet, but... To me, it looks like we're climbing up to the height that they're firing at, which doesn't seem very sensible, but there you go. Reload the guns. Loosen the neck. Oh, that's it. Checkpoint two. You can hear the explosions now. You can see the, uh, the target, sort of behind all those markers. I can't actually see it at all. Right, let's let's get our nose down and go for it. While still trying to evade the guns. Oh I see it now, I've got it. I see it in my sights. That was close. Blimey that was close. Engage now. Oh, did I hit it? Ah. Bloody guns jammed or ran out of ammo, one or the other. Oh crap, I think we got hit. Oh, we're done for. No! Wow, they are really accurate. I'm gonna have to watch in the replay what the hell happened there. That was that was harsh. Really harsh. That's great fire physics, by the way. That looks really realistic. Not the bottom bit so much, but the haze and the the smoke. A bit of flak must have just hit me f full on, I guess. Oh, look at that direct hit. I had zero chance of getting out of that. At one point, I thought I got control of the plane, but I think it was... 
I think it was just a case that the other wing came off and it leveled me out for a second. Okay. Uh, well. Oh, what happened? I have a, a very healthy fear of the guns now. I didn't before. And I'm more scared of them now than I was the last time. Okay, oh, that one was close. Look at that. Oh, I don't like that. Some. Still there, though. Oh, that was close. That was real close. came from, of course. Let's try and get the speed up nice and high. Make ourselves a very fast moving target. That was close. That was also close. Crikey. Yes, so accurate. Can't imagine they were this accurate in in real life. Change altitude. Wait, whoa, that was that was incredibly close. It's not stay in that location. It's like there's an AAA down there. Look. The less we see of that, the better. If that's his shot, then his AAA is very high. 
That's quite close to us, but it's behind us. And we're over no man's let off. Yeah. That triple A is dangerous stuff. I forgot we have a time limit, don't we? Get this bird on the floor, on the ground, quick. Maybe not that quick. Still need to fly her to the ground. that again. bounced. I, I thought it was going to be like butter. It really wasn't though. <sighs> Good. Good job, John. Mission accomplished. Now we can go over to the new one. The way to go. The way to go. The way to go. The way to go. He's looking at you, kid. Oh dear. Engaging ground targets and bombing. By the plane can be used not only for dogfight but also for attacking ground targets. Moreover, your spad carries not only machine guns but also two. 20 pound bombs, therefore you can use it to destroy targets invulnerable to machine guns. This mission has two parts. In the first part you need to destroy two enemy cars, Star Vehicle and Lorry, engage in flat dive and use machine guns. After destroying both vehicles, climb to the next checkpoint. There you'll find the second part of the mission, enemy tanks. Engage in steep dive and use bombs. Be careful, your bombs may not harm, may harm not enemy only but you too as in case of close explosion bombs can damage your disengaged disengaging plane or your targets are moving therefore remember about deflection shooting and bombing okay it's going to take a couple of goes isn't it i can see john you shoot just as well as you fly and for breaking <laughs> through flag defenses you deserve special credit you successfully overcome your fear. I'm very pleased. <laughs> Captain, frankly, I didn't even start being afraid. Maybe that's better. Anyway, enough compliments. Your next mission is not about the air, but about the ground. You're going to learn to bomb and strafe ground targets. But first, of course, a bit of boring theory and then details of what you'll have to do. We can engage ground targets not only with guns, but also with bombs. Use K on the keyboard to drop bombs. There are two ways to attack ground targets, from flat dive and from steep dive. Each way has its pros and cons and should be used depending on the combat situation. A flat dive attack is when your dive angle is less than 30 degrees. With this method of engaging target, it will be easy for you to control speed and altitude. The target will always be in your line of sight, and it won't be a problem for you to aim and take proper deflection. As a rule, we use this method to destroy easy moving targets with guns. Bombing is also possible, but it's not easy to aim because at the moment of bomb drop, the target will already be out of your sight. A steep dive is when your dive angle is more than 30 degrees. 
It's a complicated and dangerous maneuver that requires special attention and patience. Pay extra attention to your speed and especially altitude. When pulling out of such a dive, remember that the airplane structure has G limits, which you should know from your previous lessons, that you must not exceed. But the dangers of this maneuver are compensated by its advantages. Tanks and other armored vehicles have thinner armor on the top. Attacking from above, you'll have more chances to destroy the target. That's the first advantage. The second advantage, attacking from above, will let you keep speed and maneuverability after the attack. It will also make it much harder for anti-aircraft guns to hit you. That's also why it's recommended to engage flax from a steep dive. And the third, when you're in a steep dive, bomb trajectory will have less deviation from the aiming, so it'll be much easier for you to aim for bombing. Deflection is aiming at a point where the target will be when your bullet or bomb will reach it. Remember, the higher the speed of your target, the bigger the deflection. Drop the bomb when the target is between the center of your gun sight and the hood. Well, this must be all I can tell you about engaging ground targets. Now about our mission. At checkpoint one, there are two targets for you, a truck and a car. Use flat dive and machine gun to destroy these targets. After you destroy two vehicles, proceed to checkpoint two. There you'll find German tanks. You'll only need to destroy one of them. Then return to base for debriefing. It will be marked as checkpoint three. John, watch your altitude and don't lose concentration during the attack. It's important because in a fight, it's very easy to lose the moment when to pull up from a dive. I'm waiting for your return with a report on successful accomplishment of this task. Carry on. Yes, sir. This is going to be tough. Really? Can do this thing. I'm, I'm trying to fly into that marker, but I feel like we need more altitude. And I don't see anything yet. Ah, right ahead of me. Okay. Let's see Spitfire pilot right now. Maybe turning too early here. Right, so, when it comes to bombs, I don't really know what my keybinding is. So this is really going to make things different. Oh, I dropped a bomb, and I missed. 
Oh, you son of a bitch. I missed. It would be really cool if I could take out both of these targets in one, in one fail swoop. But not impossible. There we go. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. That is how it's done. Switching the bomb setup. X56 has uh, a mode button on it. So I have mode 2 set to bombing. Right, I'm going to come around this side on a time limit, don't forget. Yes. Oh, I didn't get the second one, I got the first one. Wonder how close that was. Oh, I would have loved to have got both there. I don't think I've learned anything from that, I think I just got lucky. I can't wait to see the replay on that. There's that bounce. That's a good landing this time. Very nice. Successful mission. <clears throat> Enjoyed that. Great job, John. Mission accomplished. Now we can go over to the new one. Go, go to over go. to the new one. The way to go. That's the way it says that. Hmm. Just take, before we do mission six, let's just take a little look see at that bomb. I want to know how close I was to hitting that second one. This must be it. I turned around on them and. Came in for a second swipe. Power off. Started the dive. Oh, direct hit. Oh, so close to the second one. So unbelievably close to the second one. Oh wow, that was so damn close. Oh, good shooting. Delightful. That was that was really spectacular. That was quite special. Okay, I enjoyed that. I tell you. Ooh. Um. Alrighty, so we'll close that.